This is code.org. I'm working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 2, Multi-Screen Apps, 8, Part 8. Use console log to test overlapping objects on the screen. There are two goals here. Practice inserting your own console log statements. Investigate how the screen captures events. It's different. Do this. Add console.log statements to each of the three event handlers we started you out with. So again, these are event handlers, right? They run these functions. Event handlers are listening. So on event, on what event? Click. Clicking of what? If I click whatever has the green button ID, which I bet is this, it does, then whatever's in here will be run. So boop. They want us to add console log statements to each of these, which is what we are doing. Three event handlers. We started out making the text Make the text that gets printed be descriptive. Ah, so anytime we click, the screen has been clicked. Can we trigger both? Yep. Ha, <laughs> neat. And so each time we trigger one of these events, it's going to log. But if I click the button, the purple button, it should say purple button and screen, and it does. Or green button and screen, because they're overlapping. All right, so green button and screen, purple button and screen. Oh, it's logged right here. Screen and screen, screen and screen. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's keep going. 